Well, hey there, guys. What's going on? I got another video here for you tonight. Got to make this one quick. It's going to be a Brinks 171 40 millimeter long shackle. I had done a Brinks 171 short shackle, and uh, it was a 50 millimeter, and I got my comb picks to work on that, and jackknife and all that jazz. But this lock is a little bit different. So I guess in this video, my tip for you is just because you see maybe another lock sporter use a particular bypass technique or whatever, I think just due to manufacturing tolerances sometimes you're not going to be able to get everything to work on the model of padlock but uh there's a look at the key bidding right there i watched a lot of videos of uh people doing the 161 uh brinks and those all had uh security pins in them so this one does not have any security pins in it and it's got all five pins in it uh 161 only has uh, four pin stacks being used. So let's go in here, stick my hook pick in. It's that easy. The 161, man, had security pins in it. Anyway, so there it is, picked open using the bottom of the keyway tensioning. Let's go top the keyway tensioning here. Yeah, I always feel bad making videos and people might buy the padlock and bypass tool and not get something to work right, but. I think it's just doing manufacturing and tolerances and stuff like that. There was three. There's four. I think I got five. Coming back to looking for that second pin. Two and one. And we are open again. So this lock is not hard to pick at all. But again, somebody will probably buy one of these and think, oh, it's an easy padlock. And next thing you know, it'll be filled chock full of security pins and that's really not my intent but uh like i said you'll see the other video pop up of the 171 short shackle and same comb pick except this one's five pinner instead of the four that i was using and uh, it goes right in the keyway but for the life of me i cannot get it to go up it, those prongs are just a little too big and they will not go up in there um, but yeah I think that's the difference between the 171 50 millimeter and 171 40 millimeter so the 50 you can obviously use your comb picks and the 161 you can use your comb picks but on this guy I got nowhere with it so I'll just go ahead and shim them open here really quick if I got time. We're at three minutes. So, yeah. So, I guess the moral story is if you see a, another lock sporter out there doing something and you can't get it to work, just know that it's probably due to the manufacturing of the tools that you're using and the padlock. So, don't want anybody to be deceived, but... And, uh, yeah, Brinks is changing up their stuff. Used to, they used to be chock full of security pins, and it looks like now they're kind of doing away with that. But anyway, I wish I had that 50 millimeter here to compare these two. This is 40. Get this turned around here. So we got a nice X there. So there it is, shimmed open. I'll go ahead and show you guys something here real quick. Well, I got it open. Um, when you use your padlock shims, you got to be careful. There's a gap right there. And your padlock shim will get caught in that gap and not work. So you have to come around from this side of the padlock. And some lock manufacturers, not very many, are cutting their locking poles like that. And they do that on purpose to prevent padlock shim bypass technique from working. But this one, I think, is just due to manufacturing and uh, tolerances and manufacturing. So, that's why sometimes uh, padlock shims don't work out very good. They work on one side, but not the other, because that little gap right there. Focus. Oh, yeah, there's that gap right there. So, yeah, keep that in mind. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you need any lock picks, be sure to check out southord.com. As always, you guys have a good one.